What's up everyone, welcome to part 14 of developing Android application and in this video I'm going to go ahead and work with Java. So at this point of time if you have not watched my videos which is like from Java as I showed you how step by step you can go ahead and find my videos. Also in the end of the video I give you a playlist that is like 12 videos in a row inside a Java. So just go ahead and watch all the 12 videos from that playlist where you can go ahead and understand Java properly. So if you do that I'm going to go ahead and use my android so you can go ahead and start working with java inside your android studio it is slightly different it is not exactly like java but it is somewhat taking from the java all right so i'm going to go ahead and start building an application as we have created an application as you can see it inside my journey motion we have given the name as quick scoreboard team a score and as the score is like one two three four but one thing is problem that if I click on something, any of the button, it doesn't do anything. So now we are going to make this button interactive. So whenever we click, something should happen, right? So I don't know why in Cricket, if you go ahead and from your back, just go ahead and hit on six, it says six runs. You are not running six rounds. It still says six runs. <laughs> I don't know what the logic of Cricket is, but that's how it is Focus on Android itself. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a score. So if I click on it, it should appear on score so i'm going to go ahead and change the text from score to zero because whenever you start something it should go with zero so i'm going to give it as zero all right so now i'm going to go ahead and use java finally we are back with java now i'm going to go ahead and you see there is on create method automatically created by android studio for you so it is protected so it is a method which has been be auto created by android studio itself so it is going to build an auto create method whenever something is displayed on your screen it's taking the help of on create method all right so it's not returning anything else that's why it is said as white this is the method of on create method it is taken like a dictionary is inside sdk so that's the reason it is named as bundle and that's what it has been imported as a bundle now super class and all i will go ahead and explain you i'm not gonna explain you because if you go ahead and work on it again and again you will try to get understand and get used to it right so it is set contained view so it is actually setting a contained and which is going to be view which you can see it right over here as you can see it it is was created using the java as well because of the java it is actually getting displayed okay so this r stands for rest folder and it is inside layout and the name of the layout is activity underscore main so as you can see this java is actually referring to rest folder inside layout and inside activity underscore main so it actually detected and it actually added the score to that now this method i'm going to go ahead and add one new method and i'm going to go ahead and work on that so i'm going to go ahead and inside this main activity i'm going to go ahead and add a new method to that so for that let me just go ahead and give it a comment to that so it will be pretty good for you to understand what am i going to try I just type that and hit enter so it automatically gives me the code so i'm going to go ahead and say display the given score of team a so from here you can understand what i'm gonna go ahead and type so now i'm going to go ahead and add a method to that public public it's not gonna return anything so it's gonna be white and i'm gonna go ahead and give the method name to display for team a let me give it a camel case as capital t display for team a that's my method name and i'm gonna give it as int because it's gonna be a number and it's a score okay so i'm gonna go ahead and add color braces to that i opened it up it automatically closed that one all right so i'm gonna go ahead and give it like view core as equal t e x t b i x to find find view by id r dot id dot team underscore a underscore s c o r a 
underscore view dot set text string string dot a l u e of s u r e Alright, so I just Alright, so I just tap all of this one. So I'm going to go ahead and step to step I'm going to go ahead and explain you what I have written right over here. So it's a public. It's not going to return anything. This is the method name. Control Z. So this is the method name. We have used int which is going to be inside the score and it's a text view which is right over here so it's gonna look forward to what is the name inside an xml file so i'm gonna give it an id to that that's the reason if not my id is not that that's the reason it is showing red line red color so after i added the id to that xml it's gonna go ahead and appear blank to that so i'm gonna go ahead and come over here and give it an id to that android id team team underscore a underscore score team underscore a underscore is there so now team underscore a score is giving a purple color to that so now this is showing you is because let me just go ahead and give it a capital T alright so everything is fine by right now if it is having a problem that it is still showing a red is because this is auto import as not added and you have to go ahead and tap this line so all you know that how I added an auto import to that and that's how it is gonna add this one this specific line on this project alright so that's all for this video I hope you understand what I'm trying to explain you about Java right so I just taught you about how you can go ahead and add this particular method and also how we can go ahead and connect it with your XML. So I'll see you guys in the next video.